everyone, and welcome back to Endless Learning. In today's video, we're moving on to the third lesson in our Stable Diffusion series. For those of you joining us for the first time, I suggest watching the first two lessons to get up to speed before diving into today's topic, how to install ControlNet in Stable Diffusion. What is ControlNet? ControlNet is designed to give users more control over image generation by making adjustments based on specific tasks. It has been specially trained to handle these adjustments effectively. To install ControlNet, follow these steps. Navigate to the Extensions tab. Click on Available and then select Load. This action will display a list of all files from the repository. Use the search function to find ControlNet. Locate the SDBY ControlNet manipulation extension. Install it by following the on-screen instructions. After installation, you can locate ControlNet under the installed UI section. Simply click apply and then restart UI section. As you can observe, this is the ControlNet interface. Following that, you can download the ControlNet models from the Hugging Face website. Ensure that you download the file into a specific folder in order to load it. Press the refresh button, which you can find in the drop-down menu, to see the changes. We have successfully installed Stable Diffusion. These are the different ways you can use ControlNet to refine your image generation. This represents the depth map corresponding to the image. Alright everyone, that's it for installing ControlNet in Stable Diffusion. As you've seen, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button for more stable diffusion content. And remember, the only limit is your imagination. So get out there and create something awesome.